Have you ever wonder what keeps your muscles intact and what gives us this beautiful shape of our body? I mean, if you think about it, our muscles are just fibers and when contracted, they should just pop out anywhere. Listen, I feel as ridiculous as I look. But they don't, they form shapes. And it's not our skin that keeps us together. You think that with muscles, because they're fibers, they just flop everywhere, but they don't, right? They sit in shapes, they form shapes. It's not our skin that holds us in because fat just comes out. Look, my skin is quite loose. There's a tissue called fascia, and fascia, super freaking interesting. This is what we're talking about today. Now, look, I've been a practitioner for 20 years, and I've learned stuff about fascia that I had no idea. Fascia pretty much looks like this. It's really crazy, huh? So you guys, your fascia, it's going to move and stretch as you move and stretch. And then when you relax, it's going to come back to its normal state and take its normal shape. This is a good episode. I say that a lot. I say that about every single episode. Let me know. Look at it. It looks amazing, doesn't it? To think that that's all through your body, in between every little bit, every little muscle, bundle, organs. First of all, like, fascia is littered everywhere. I mean, everywhere. Like fascia is what keeps our muscles intact and what helps our muscles form its shape. So it's on the outside of your muscles. But then there's fascia that's in between your muscle bundles, right? And then there's more fascia that's in between muscle fibers too. But there's also fascia that's in between your organs and keeps your organs in place. Like when you think about fascia, think about it as this connective tissue and its job is to literally glue us together. Like keep our form, our shape, and give that human body that beautiful look that we have. Fascia under a microscope looks super funky, yeah? It's got this web-like structure, it looks like this. And it's freaky as, like even when I first saw it, I'm like, whoa, that looks exactly like a spider's web. And it's everywhere. Look, it's inside my dinner. You guys, a healthy fashion, it's gonna be pliable. It's gonna move and stretch with you as you move. And then when you relax, it's going to come back and form its shape again. Healthy fascia has got fluid in it as well. When you contract, that fluid is pushed out. And then when you relax, just like a sponge, that fluid comes back in. This is the important part because muscles are fibers and they're densely packed in. So inside your bicep, there's billions of these fibers, right? And they're all working to contract all those fibers rubbing up against each other. If they don't have some sort of lubrication, they're going to rip apart. And so having fascia to lubricate muscles during a contraction is super important. It helps keep your muscles healthy and stops them from ripping each other apart. All right, so let's talk about unhealthy fascia because this is where pain is caused. Now, fascia can become dry and sticky. It'll also harden and stiffen, which means that because it encapsulates so much of your muscles, it can deform muscles and put pressure on nerves and your lymphatic system too. So your fascia was knotted, hardened up and dry, and now you no longer have range of motion through this arm. Hey, remember in the knots video that we did last month, I was talking about the texture of knots. That's really tight. And how a healthy muscle feels like it's luscious and has blood in it. And how some knots you'll feel are dry and wiry. 
Well, it's interesting, like I've only now joined the dots. When fascia's not well, it's dry and sticky. It just, it kind of, it just makes sense. It's exactly what I've been feeling when massaging people's knots. I'm like, oh, that feels depleted. It feels wiry. It feels like some muscles when you massage them feel like guitar strings. And now that I think about it, when fascia is encapsulating muscles and it's dry and constricting our muscles, of course it's gonna feel like that. That's, that's exactly what it feels like. And it makes sense that when you're massaging through and releasing those knots, or you may have heard practitioners call it adhesions, that's, the fa that's exactly what they're talking about when fascia is not well. So how do we massage it? Very simple. If you have my masterclass, you already know how to do this. You don't need to even have that much technique. Like if we're working on specific knots, sure. Technique's important. Go get the masterclass. It's all laid out there. But like we saw in the chicken, like the fascia is everywhere. Just contouring and putting a little bit of pressure into your fingertips or in the heel of your palm is going to help unbind and release some fascia. Maybe not the deep fascia that's right in the muscles, but definitely on the surface for sure. Heat is a good thing. I don't know if you've tried that before, but whenever I'm hurt, or my muscles are bound up, I always use a heat pack. And also if I'm massaging someone and I wanna release muscles, I often will use less massage oil, which we'll talk about this in, I think we've got next year, we've got a massage oil video that's coming out that I have plans, but I will vary my consistency of oil depending on how much heat I wanna to add to a specific part of someone's body or a muscle. Very interesting. And that also will help break down fascia. So it's good, fascia responds really well to movement, to heat, and to massage. So all stuff that we can easily access at home. Okay, so I stole this concept from Dana Sterling. Now she has a lecture on fascia that I'll link to below. She's way smarter than I am. She uses this body suit, right? So I've totally ripped it off her, but it explains fascia really well in this sort of concept where the idea of referral pain or compression or tightness of fascia in one area can totally affect another part of your body. So for instance, let's say you had a knot down here. So your fascia was knotted, hardened up and dry, and now you no longer have range of motion through this arm. Because you want to, on a healthy fascia, we've got complete range of motion, freedom of movement, we're okay, feel nice to move around. But when things stiffen up, it can deform our muscles all right, and cause constrictions, make range of motion, be limited, cause pain, of course. And this could happen anywhere. It could happen in your back. It might ruin your posture. And things like just sitting on a chair for extended periods of time will harden fascia. We want to keep moving to make it feel healthy and fluid. Good concept, huh? A little bit of a Spider-Man idea kind of ties in with fascia too. You know, what it looks like, that web-like structure. Now. How do I get out of this thing? I just don't, I can't, like, I think I'm stuck. And there's no one, there's no one here. All right, you guys, we've just scratched the surface of fascia. I mean, this system is super interesting, but the key takeaway that I want you to, to get out of this video is, it's not just muscles. I mean, we have this system that needs to be looked after as well. So stretching and heat and massage is really good for us. Something that I, mean, I definitely put in my daily life. Stretching for sure, massage, we all know that feels fantastic. And you know, I mean, I do use heat, especially when I'm sore and hurting. Absolutely. I wish we could go deeper and further into fascia, but this video just goes, it just blows out for what it is needed for couples. You know, there was a point that I wanted to make for us. Oh, that's right. So at my age, I'm getting to the point where, you know, there are some mornings where I just wake up and it's like creaky to get out of bed. You know, does that make sense? It's like, 
Everything seems to just need some lubrication and oil to get my motor running and I will stretch in the morning every morning and if I don't and I you know skip in a couple of days things I can feel that tightness and the body starting to just you know bind up a little bit and that's definitely got to do with the fascia maybe also why the older we get the more inclined we are to move to warmer climates like even now i'm thinking like, why am i hanging out in melbourne so much like this is a cold city you know there's a short window of time in the year when melbourne's just it's beautiful and it is beautiful like it's a great city but i'm like i got i've got the whole world to play with i mean why don't i spend more time in california or queensland which i think is going to be on the cards you know it's like i definitely feel in those warmer climates that my body seems to need less taking care of that's interesting isn't it you know it's like the same thing happened in miami like that warm humid climate i just you know you wake up out of bed and it's not so creaky you know the joints don't feel so delicate when i wake up Anyways, either way, the remedy is stretch. Fascia loves it. I'll see you in the next video. This was a good one. I do, I do like this one. I'll see you in the next video. We're doing hips. Hips. I'm totally creaky in hips. All right. See you guys.